Jedi Knight is the vanguard of the Republic's forces. We'll get those weapons back and use them to destroy the Empire once and for all. You are going up against the greatest evil that the galaxy has ever known. It is a huge fight with everything at stake. Just a reminder, this is an Imperial world. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. I like tweaking with authority. What makes the Bounty Hunter awesome is a sense of independence and the toughness to back it up being able to bend the rules or just flat out break them. It's very much the man with a gun against the world. He wants to earn some money, he wants to earn a reputation, or he can just be, you know, a killer, a cold-hearted killer. The fantasy of the Jedi Knight is saving the galaxy or saving yourself or falling to the dark side, but it's direct and earnest and elegant, and his fighting style is the same way. I think it depends on how the player wants them to, but uh, I mean, the bounty hunter can live by a code as much as the Jedi does. It's just they don't always see eye to eye on how that plays out. You will drop your weapons and surrender to me. You will realize what a complete idiot you are. You get to be whatever kind of Jedi Knight you think is best. You don't necessarily have to follow the Jedi code. In fact, you can violate it pretty regularly. When a Jedi is coming after you, you know what, exactly what to expect. But when a bounty hunter you know, is coming after you, you really don't, because they're more you know, just a mercenary wild card. The bounty hunter's attacks mainly come from uh, tech and blasters. They've got the lightsaber, they've got the force. Rockets, heavy armor, missiles, blaster bolt deflection, flamethrowers, jetpack. A bounty hunter player and a Jedi Knight player in a fight. That's, that's going to be a tough one. The bounty hunter is more than a match for the Jedi Knight, because when they engage in a fight, they have control of the situation. They have so many tools at their trade to keep the Jedi from ever getting their ground. The strategy, uh, when you see that you're going up against a bounty hunter, is obviously get in as fast as you can and stay there. You're going to charge into the fight. You're going to try and keep the bounty hunter slowed down as much as you can. If I'm playing the bounty hunter in the fight, my strategy is to keep the Jedi Knight at range. I have stuns, I have screens and shields and heavy armor to absorb damage. The Jedi Knight is uh, relentless. The way his resources work, he's always building up and cashing in what he's built up. So instead of watching a pool slowly decay over time, it's just nonstop. As long as you can stay up close and personal, you're always able to dish out that damage and you're really just an unstoppable wrecking ball. The Jedi Knight's gonna win, hands down. The Bounty Hunter's got this. It's gonna be the Jedi Knight. Bounty Hunter's gonna win. Trust me.